When you suffer a betrayal, the effect might be long-lasting, as we saw in the case of Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins at WrestleMania. I'm Jeremy, and here are the five most shocking betrayals in WWE. After months of manipulation, Sami Zayn finally turned on Roman Reigns at the 2023 Royal Rumble, and this started the downfall of the bloodline. Soon, the Usos lost the tag team championships to Sami and Kevin Owens at WrestleMania 39, which pissed off the tribal chief even more. He started lashing out at his cousins and challenged Sami and Kevin for the tag team titles at Night of Champions. But during the match, Jimmy Uso snapped and kicked Roman after being mistreated for months. This wasn't the last betrayal. For the next few weeks, Roman's right-hand man Jey Uso's loyalty was also questioned, and on the June 16th, 2023 episode of SmackDown, he chose to stand with his twin, attacking Roman and Solo. Evolution saw Triple H and Ric Flair mentoring the future of WWE and Randy Orton and Batista. The faction dominated WWE from 2003 to 2005, but at one point, they all became champions. Despite all this, the game soon became jealous of his protege in the form of the Viper. Orton had beaten Chris Benoit for the World Heavyweight Championship at SummerSlam in 2004, someone that Triple H failed to defeat despite multiple attempts. Randy's victory over Benoit did not go well with Evolution's leader, and Batista hoisted up Orton in what appeared to be a celebration. Triple H gave him the thumbs down, leading to Batista dropping Orton and Evolution dishing out a beatdown on him. The Legend Killer was kicked out of Evolution and it would set up a historic rivalry between Orton and Triple H for years to come. The trio of Seth Rollins, Dean Ambrose, and Roman Reigns debuted at Survivor Series in 2012 as The Shield. They ran roughshod over the WWE roster for nearly two years and collected gold. However, in 2014, the faction locked horns with Triple H's evolution and everything changed. Just when it seemed that evolution couldn't shake the hounds of justice, Triple H pulled out his plan B. On the June 2nd, 2014 episode of Raw, The Shield confronted evolution. Seth Rollins turned on his teammates when he slammed a chair on their backs. It eventually kickstarted their immensely successful single careers of dominance over the world of wrestling. As evident at WrestleMania 40, Roman chose to avenge this betrayal, even if it was 10 years later, and it cost him the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. It's hard to imagine that Kevin Owens was once a backstabbing and self-centered guy. KO started a beautiful friendship with Chris Jericho a few months after he debuted on the main roster. One of the highlights of their partnership was Jericho's introduction to the List of Jericho, which saw Y2J pin down the names of those that annoyed him or Owens. So imagine the shock that Jericho and the fans felt when the current AEW star saw his name on the list on the February 13th, 2017 episode of Raw. The WWE Universal Champion Owens then went on to viciously attack Jericho and slam his head onto the Jeritron. This betrayal made sure that wrestlers and fans would find it difficult to ever trust KO from that point forward. Perhaps the biggest betrayal in pro wrestling and WWE history is the infamous Montreal Screwjob in which Vince McMahon betrayed Bret Hart at the 1990 Survivor Series. The one thing that makes this unique is while other entries on this list are scripted in kayfabe, this was real life, it is one of the first examples of WWE breaking kayfabe. The incident stemmed from the fact that Bret Hart, who was then reigning WWE Champion, was leaving the company for WCW. At Survivor Series, Hart was slated to defend his title against bitter rival Shawn Michaels, and he refused to lose to Michaels in his home country of Canada. But during the match, McMahon forced referee Earl Hebner to ring the bell when Hart was trapped in his submission, the Shark shooter, even though Hart did not submit. The fallout of the event created a huge media frenzy which would be talked about for years to come.